All right, so we got why the robots killed everybody in Atomic Heart. Let's get right to the video. Why do the robots kill everybody in Sorry about Atomic your Heart. squeaking is old. Is I'm sorry. we make them watch all the old people we don't care about anymore? Surprisingly, no. Is it because we sometimes skin them, watch them flop around on a table? I don't. Surprisingly, no again. <laughs> I'm actually going to tell you why. But Excuse I'm me, sorry. give you a big old spoiler warning before I do it. So here it Go is. Go ahead, bro. Boom. Uh, this is spoiler warning, by the way. Everything is lame. Nobody has cool hair. Um, except the main guy in the game. He looks like he reviews IPAs on TikTok. But everybody else in the game... You know the thing about this? I bet everybody back then was happier. Conformity. Even though us Gen Z or whatever people smile, look at the old people as like their time is like lame, whatever. Inside, I bet they were ten times as happy. Sorry, ten times more happy than we ever were. You, than we ever are going to be. Maybe even cross earrings with a little chain. Even the robots that were built to help the humans decide that they need to up their game. You know, the people created them to perform manual labor so they could focus on the arts and sciences. And yet at some point, they lost their way. They focus too much on the sciences and forgot about the arts. Specifically, bro, what's this beat in the background? The robots conspired to inspire. They played badass electronica in the town square. Yeah, they the look at them go. And how to get bitches. Moonwalking? They adorn themselves with awesome mustaches and slick onesies to hopefully persuade the people to stop right, Dr. dressing Disrespect. like dorks. Yeah. You know, it's tough to say I'm human myself. But these fuckers dress like dorks, man. You know, spread your aesthetic wings. Fashion's playground. You know, have fun. What are they the doing? Humans didn't listen. They were content. Humans never listen. And doing lame science stuff. The robots were programmed to help the humans. They're trying to help the humans. But the humans refuse the help. What's a robot to do in a situation like that? That really does not make any, like, make any sense. The robots had an idea. If we want to increase the drip quotient of the population, then all we have to do is simply kill all the ugly people and the people with the least drip. <laughs> then technically, the drip per capita would go up. You know, it's a more obvious funny. plan to say the least. But I'm AI the with the braids. By silly hindrances. Like I'm AI with the braids. So they, they started killing. And boy, they were actually pretty good at it. You know, I got some questions for those. This man, this man is giving them compliments of killing humans. That's crazy. Robots that are just throw this man right here in jail. Day. You know, they're pretty skilled at martial arts. They're doing cool flips and jumping kicks hey, and stuff I like with that. The uh, race uh, the oh my robots, god! Believe it or not, pretty effective killing machines. Uh, so effective, I'm sorry to say, but uh, earmuffs if you're uh, under 18 in the audience. Every child was murdered and buried pretty quickly and decisively. You know, I was there in Ground Zero. When the machine starts snapping necks. And let me tell you something. Child population, gone in minutes. <laughs> I'm afraid to say No, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not laughing. 20 something hours of the game so far. Haven't seen a single I'm laughing at how he said it. I'm not laughing at. Heroin stuff. No, y'all. Stop. Top no. Of that, man, in, a, in times of domestic peril, it's common. Who is this dude? Forces to respond to, to protect the people. But I'm sorry to say, in a horrible twist of poetic irony. The very forces sent to stop the violent robotic drip check failed the drip check themselves. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, fellas. It was horrible. I think it had something to do with the hats. You know, the hats make them look... I like agree. Yeah, the hats clothes. was... Yeah, they so were lame. Most of the Red Army soldiers were uh, peacefully and gently ran over or had their necks snapped. And, you know, I never thought about the Red Army outfits being dripless, so to speak, but... But who knows what standards of fashion reside inside the mind? Of Why is he that close to the screen? <laughs> the Swiss Guard of the Vatican. You know, who knows? These that guys, actually these looks are, fire. These are big questions. Then, even as a surprise to myself and guys, big spoiler warning: uh, the protagonist himself is attacked. I know. I, I was just as surprised as you. He is leaps and bounds ahead of normal citizens in terms of style. He's got a recent fade. Uh, hair has like pomade in it. Beard, well groomed. He's convincingly Very well attractive groomed. to boot, you know. And now it's <clears throat> become apparent that the robot beauty standards are way too high. You know, I was certain of it that nobody. He like he like uh, Travis Kelsey would be eradicated at this. He looks a little like Travis Kelsey. Oh so I started fighting and running. You know? Badass. I don't want to die. Oh, 
Left his legs there just for pleasure. Oh, get him out of here. He ran over. I'm prepared for the jump scare. Many other people die? Yeah. Way too many. Yeah, they died. That's nice. <laughs> it's gone. Oh my god. Spot away from the carnage. Uh met another yeah. human, another survivor. We a big lump of not. <coughs> it has to juice. And how I was gonna pick up Know, smoking cigarettes and but stuff. It has cigarettes make you look really cool. You Back know, then Draper they did. Got a lot of pussy because he smoked cigarettes and dressed. Back then, you know, cigarettes was like a I'm like trying to like learn how to like a thing to like gloat. Like, now everybody cool hates cigarettes. Cool. Literally you know, everybody. There's some people that smoke and they look like losers or dirty or something. But then there's some people that smoke and it, it looks elegant. You know, so I'm sitting there trying to figure that out. And this guy throws my cigarette away. He starts to profess that you know he's part of a counterculture. Oh, okay. that. They do ugly body modifications to really spit in the face of the robot's fashion and beauty standards. I was asked not to spoil anything in the game, but uh, think of these people as like the resistance faction. Of the game. Uh, there's a lot of nuance to oh. the story that my narrations don't. Hey, that robot's justice, fighting back, though. I can assure you, this all makes a lot more sense when you play it. So, anyways, uh, they jack my guy into the mind of a robot, you know, like the Matrix, so I can see what they see. You know, I can get the inside scoop of what's going on, and yeah, it, it's, it's not good. You know, they think we look whack as fuck. Nobody can pull off polka dots. Oh, man. really? Yeah, I think we're screwed. Then they no wonder they want to kill Matrix, us. Look, look what we wear. And uh, first thing I see, I'm looking at two of the nicest custom Italian dress shoes money can buy. Beautiful yeah. tailored pants leading up to a matching vest, exquisite dress shirt. I mean, the man had hair like Andrew I can't Jackson, lie. My favorite, um, followed by two robot bitches. I mean, no wonder this guy wasn't getting attacked. The mustached robots that criticize, <laughs> criticize, 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 and play judge, jury, and executioner all day. My favorite, uh, have robot my bitches. favorite part of a suit all I knew is in the that best. Was one thing. I felt it in my heart. I didn't even need to ask. I just knew it. Uh, this guy fucks. Too much for all. Bro, he, bro, he not the robots though. Chairs in his office, plus the six that are in his elevator. Now he be chilling. Manufacturer and selected the white ash shell that he seems to prefer, and the mohair supreme upholstery in lupine, and uh, threw twenty three of those bad boys in my cart. Found out, yeah, yeah, they're like a lot of fucking. Oh my god! Right? Also, I'm like ninety nine percent sure this guy's banging these uh these robots here. No, no way, he's not. No way. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. I. Uh, I would too, you know. Uh, no, no, no. You're just down bad. In the description of this game, it's a, a dystopian future past or something like that. But I don't know. This seems pretty tight. Anyways, uh, check out Atomic Heart. This video is sponsored. Links in the description. Uh, it is actually a really good game. Check it out. It is. It is. It is. Just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. <laughs> hey man, shout out to this guy, bro. Uh, for this video, I never saw him. I never. <coughs> Ow! My my cough. But um, never watched this guy's videos before. It was nice, fast-paced editing. Nice. It was funny. Yeah, okay. Shout out to this guy, bro. I'm I'm gonna definitely check out uh, more of his videos. His link will be down in the description down below. Uh, so you guys want to go check him out? You guys can check him out. But if you guys like my reaction, make um, sure you guys like the, like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, other than that, is there anything else? No, there's not. There's not anything else. Look at it. Look at his butt. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm